and what role has that played in your life? Because obviously there's all this supporting energy, movement, momentum in the universe being like, oh yeah, you want to go to Beijing and get the ticket and go in October? Well, guess what? You're fired. Let, let us help you. Right. right. Well, I am an HSP. Have you ever heard of what that is? Highly sensitive person, Dr. Elaine Aaron's work. Yep. Okay. Of but please I... explain it for those who haven't. Oh, yes. Okay. So I, I wasn't aware of this, you know, growing up at all. It, you know, this is just something that came into my, uh, my understanding in the, over the past uh, few years. But an HSP, highly sensitive person, is somebody you're born, inborn with these specific traits. Like they're measurable in your brain as for how you function in the world, how basically how you take information in and process it. It's very different. And typically, uh, in you know, the way that we could see this in ancient times, like the tribes people, it was somebody who was, you could call him an oracle. You could call him a medicine man. You could call him somebody that could say, you know what? Maybe we want to do our crops over here. Or we sense something's coming. Maybe it's time that we leave. You know, storms are coming. Somebody who could tell the tribe what's going on. And every man, woman, creature has this capacity within them. And so it's, it really means that essentially that we sense things on a very different level. So when I grew up in that childhood, again, you know, it wasn't maybe that type of physical, too much of the physical. I mean, there was that, but there was all these energetic threads, you know, that were, um, that I read, that I interpreted, that I understood that just weren't spoken. And on top of it, when I was younger, I would have dreams all the time. And I remember telling my mother who, uh, who raised me, oh my gosh, I, re I remember going to this house and I told her what it looked like. And we pulled up and she just sat there and froze. And as I got older, these things would still happen. And so I would say, what is this? And so now we look at energy, kind of like you said, that hippy dippy thing, like, what is that all about? But it's really quantum physics. Everything is energy first. And so when I um, am in a room, I sense people, I hear people, I don't just hear the words that they say, I feel them. And so no doubt as a child, who knows, you, were, you could have been sensing what was going on at that time in the neighborhood, in your life, the people you're connected to, that's called non-local entanglement as well. It's a measurable thing now, but before we just all called it energy.